talked earlier this week. You said you wouldn't be whole again until you got your belt back. Yeah. How does it feel right now with the man, I feel really good, man. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And, uh, man, all glory be to God, mainly. All glory be to God. Without him, I would not have made it back, man. I would not have made it through this summer, man. I was – all glory be to God. What did it feel like today? I mean, I saw you got here a little bit early to soak it in. And with yeah. that walkout, what did it all feel like today? It felt great, man. It felt right, man. It felt so right just to be back here. I felt like I was in my element. I just had I just had this feeling that it, that it was going to be what it was. You know, I knew that I was going to win the fight. I, um, I said that I would finish the fight. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but uh, – Man, I just had so many people calling me and saying things like "God's gonna be with you," and and uh, and I just felt an over overwhelming sense of peace, and it was it was almost scary, man. I almost was feeling like, am I taking this fight lightly? Am, am I am I ready to go? It was just it was just a real sure feeling. I'm starting to feel like a real veteran. Those first two rounds, what was it like in those first two rounds before that third round? It was a major feeling out process. You know, Alexander Gustafsson has some extreme knockout power, some real slick boxing combinations, and I had to be smart out there. There's a there's a lot of adjusting going on. That third round, how were you able to get it to the ground, and then how were you able to finish it when you got it to the ground? Man, you know, just just tricky shots, you know, tricky shots, setting them up, and uh, on the ground, man, I just felt like he didn't have much of an answer. I felt like I felt like the the, the scale was majorly tipped on the ground. And it, was, it was a good feeling. When we talked earlier this week, you said you knew you were going to finish him. You didn't know how, but you knew. Why were you so confident to be able to finish him? Oh man, it was, it was just a conviction. It was just a conviction, man. It was just pure faith. You called out DC afterwards. Why do you feel like you two got unfinished business? Uh, I, you know, I, you know, I just who else is there to call out, man? DC's a high-level guy. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. A lot of people want to see us fight, and uh, I just started making some waves. That's all. What's next? I don't really care about fighting DC. <laughs> What's next for you? I mean, I saw was that Anthony Smith who was trying to. Yeah, I felt like maybe he was talking about what are you doing in July? Blah blah blah. I don't know. I don't know. What's next for you? I don't know. What's next is me staying in shape. You know, a lot of times in the past, after a victory, I would go back to kind of just doing my thing and being a little bit of a wild animal. And uh, and uh, I, have, I have a strong uh, feeling in my spirit that the right thing to do is just to stay in phenomenal shape. And that's my plan, just to stay in phenomenal, phenomenal shape. Travis Barker, what's up, baby? Yo. I grew up playing drums in church every Sunday, bro. Oh, that's so, awesome, so I, I think you, I think you're a bad that man. That was amazing, bro. I, I think, think you're a bad man as man, well. Man, thank you, man. It, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to have such an artist be in the presence of the fight tonight. Oh, thank you, man. I'm insane. Oh, oh, man. What's the message for the rest of the 205 now that you're back on tour? Man, they already know what the message is. They already know what the message is. And whoever's next is going to be next. Like I said, I'm going to stay in great shape. And I sent them a message tonight. They don't need to even threaten anybody.